Hello, I'm Gavin Hoey from Adorama TV, and in this video, I'm going to take you through my basic drop and splash technique for creating beautiful arty pictures like this at home. And I'm going to challenge you to do the same. Now, if you're up for the challenge and you're happy to share your photos, we'd love that. Use the hashtag create no matter what and the hashtag Adorama so I can find your pictures because I'd love to see what you get up to with this basic setup. Right, let's go through the kit. Now, I usually shoot portraits in here, can't do that at the moment, but the kit I'm gonna use is exactly the same as my portrait kit. So, flash. This really needs to be a shot with flash. You need that freezing power. So, I'm gonna be using the Explore 400 from Flashpoint and a softbox. Doesn't really matter what shape or size, so this glow octobox is absolutely perfect. Other bits of kit, I've got my Olympus camera, but it's the lens that's more important. You need a lens that can focus close. So a macro lens might be ideal. I've got a Olympus 12 to 40 millimeter lens that actually focuses incredibly close. It's perfect for this setup. Other bits of kit, well, a tripod, really essential, a light stand and a grip arm or boom arm. That is also gonna come in really handy. All things I usually have in my studio. Then there's the things I've taken from the house and garden. So. A bucket of water. I've got this little jar, jug thing that's going to be really useful. I've got a plastic bag. And I've got a screw or a nail shoved into a bit of blue tack. All of these things are really essential and you'll see how I use them as we go through the setup. But obviously we need to drop the water into something and ideally something black. It doesn't have to be black, but black is good. So I could use something small like this little roller tray. This is the roller tray I do the studio occasionally with. It still has some of the white paint in there. That's probably not going to matter. Or something bigger. This is a seed tray or a grow bag tray out of the greenhouse. And we'll use both of those to create slightly different looks. Right, let's get a light set. Let's get the water in. Let's get shooting. Right, let's go through the setup. I've got a tray with some water in. I've got a bag with some water in and I'm going to get the bag and form it into a nice point shape and hang that on the grip arm, boom arm or whatever it is you're using. Once that's in position, I can then get a pin, make a small hole just above the point of the bag and let the water come out. But don't panic if it suddenly gushes out. Just rub your finger over that hole a few times and magically it will seal up slightly and slow down. And if it doesn't, empty out some of the water from the bag and try again. So if you were wondering what the nail and blue tack was for, well, now you find out. I've put it in the water where most of the drops are going, and I'm going to use that to help me focus and compose my shot. So I'm going to manually focus on the point where the screw and the water meet, and I'm also going to compose my picture as if that was about the height and size of a splash. Okay, let's get that out of the way and talk about camera settings. So this is just like shooting a portrait. It's gonna be my flash sync speed, 250th of a second, F11 for a good depth of field, full frame users who might wanna go for a smaller aperture still, and then ISO 400, but I might change that depending on how the flash goes. Speaking of the flash, let's take a picture without flash to remove the ambient light. In this case, I'm looking for no flash, no splash. If I could see any picture, I'd be mixing ambient and flash, and that would give me a blurry, soft shot. Right, turn the flash on. The key with this is getting your flash low in power. I'm using an Explore 400, I'll be okay. You could do this with a speed light. That would be a little bit more tricky, but perfectly doable. Either way, start with your lowest power. That to me looks a little bit on the dark side. I'm gonna go for 1 32nd power. I hope that's going to be about right. Yeah, that looks a lot brighter. Had I gone up to say 1 8th power, then I'd be thinking, yeah, I've got to get my ISO up to bring my flash power down. The lower the flash power, the more it freezes the splashes. Okay, one last thing I can change, and that is the white balance, because at the moment it looks fine, but I'm going to make it blue in post-processing, so why not do that here in camera by dialing in a custom white balance of 3,500K, I have a lovely blue picture without having to do too much post-processing. Okay, so that's done. Let's take a few photos, see how this looks. Mm. 
Now, if you're thinking I'm just randomly pressing the shutter, you're almost right. But there is a bit of an art to this, and I can finesse this whole setup by changing one or two things. Nothing wrong with the tray, but because I've got a bigger tray, I'm going to swap out to that one and take a few more shots. The bigger tray gives me more space at the back, meaning I can shoot from a lower angle. Do watch out for splashes on the front element of your lens, even one drip can ruin the shot. But even with this setup, this is quite a disturbed looking water. There's, there's lots and lots of ripples going on, it's not very clean. So that's where the jug comes in. I'm going to use this to capture the drops, let the water settle, and then when I take this away, I'll get the very next drop and I should have a beautiful, calm, serene looking water with perfect ripples and a really great reflection. So this is the basic setup, but there are lots of ways you could modify this and create something unique. For example, maybe you could do a triptych of the three main parts of a splash, the crown, the spike and the ripples. You could take this bag and put it up way high for a very different look, or bring it down really low for a very gentle, subtle splash. You could change the tray to something of a different colour, put food colouring in the bag up here. There are lots of ways you can modify this and create something unique. When you do, don't forget to share it with the hashtag create no matter what and the hashtag Adorama because I'm really looking forward to seeing what you do with this basic idea. I'm Gavin Hoey, thanks for watching.